Hello everyone, this is Brian McInerney, the hydrologist with the National Weather Service in Salt Lake City, Utah. This is a mountain snow update for February 2014. Let's take a look at the weather on February 8th. That was in the height of the, the storm cycle that we've just gone through. The warm colors, red and even more so purple, indicate where the jet is located in the most severe weather. And you can see the storm is coming off of the Pacific in a westerly flow and moving right through the western US. And this is just what we need for our water supply and our snowpack as this storm had lots of moisture and lots of activity. As you can see it goes through Utah, sweeps down into central US and then up onto the east coast where they have had all sorts of problems with winter weather in places that they typically don't see it. But this was a very good pattern for Utah and really uh, most of uh, the northern Sierra parts of the northwest. Unfortunately, the majority of the storm energy was north of southern Utah, which is where we could use some. Let's take a look at the current snowpack as of February 13th. These graphics are line graphics that we're going to show from here on out. The y-axis is the snow water equivalent. The x-axis is time. The median from 1981 to 2010 is illustrated in purple. The current year, 2014, is navy blue, and last year is 2013. The data that we're going to use is managed by the NRCS, and it's the snow water equivalent taken by the NRCS's SnowTel system. And we've averaged all of this, the automated SnowTel stations in each basin and come up with a number. In this case, the Bear River drainage is at 105%, and we're going to use median throughout this. They're doing quite well, and you can see that line jump straight up. And another uh, thing to notice is that at this point in time this year we're almost to where we were last year on the bear when they had the total season so they're doing quite well and during this eight day storm cycle they received 23 percent of the seasonal median accumulation so when you look at the snow that they're going to accumulate from October 1st through April 1st we accumulated 23 percent of what we expect during an eight day storm cycle that's how intense this storm was and we'll see those numbers across the board. When we look at the Weber River drainage, 21% of the seasonal accumulation we received during that eight day period and they're at 103% of median, doing quite well on their way. Six Creeks, which are the basins to the east of Salt Lake County, received 14% of the seasonal accumulation during this storm and they're at 81% of median. Utah Lake drainage, the mountains to the east of Provo, received 18 percent and they're currently at 83 percent as we speak. The Duchesne, the southern aspect of the Uinta Mountains, they're at 92 percent of median and they received 17 percent of the total accumulation for the year during this event. And then the Upper Green in Wyoming, they're at 127 percent of median and they received 23 percent of the seasonal accumulation during that storm cycle. They're doing very well. Lake Powell, this includes the headwaters of the Colorado and the Green River Basin as it all flows down into Lake Powell. They're at 109% of median and they receive 13% of the annual accumulation during that storm. But I think it's good to notice that Lake Powell, especially the Colorado River Basin in, in the state of Colorado, did, has been doing quite well for, for the entire season. They've been at or on median since we started, and this just is doing quite well. When we look at the severe, they're at 13% of the total accumulation that they received for this storm. Unfortunately, they're only at 83% uh, as we stand. And then we move into the Virgin, which did not benefit from this storm whatsoever. They have had an absence of storm activity since the first week of December, and they're at 63% of median, and they could they could desperately use what we've received up north. There you have it. This is Brian McInerney, the hydrologist with the National Weather Service in Salt Lake City. There's my phone number. There's my email. Uh, let me know if I can provide any additional hydrologic information. And I do appreciate you taking the time to listen to this. Thank you.